Dad? Hey, what's up, Mama? What's CSF? So CSF stands for cerebrospinal fluid, and it is a glucose-rich fluid that encompasses the arachnoid space of your brain and your spinal cord or your central nervous system, right? And so the cerebrospinal fluid is produced by the um, by the choroid plexus, which is a group of capillaries and cells that are found inside your left and right ventricles of the brain, not to be confused with the ventricles of the heart. And so you have these specialized cells at the choroid plexus and they produce this thing called cerebrospinal fluid. Now the cerebrospinal fluid, the whole purpose of it is to maintain thermo thermal regulation of the brain, to cushion it and to provide nourishment and to remove waste, which it then takes to the, 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 the sub the subarachnoid um, uh, capillary network, where then it dumps its blood, its waste products into the um, venous capillary. And that's how it returns the blood, the, the waste, excuse me, back to the systemic circulation, which then we pee it out. So the cerebrospinal fluid is like its own circulatory network within the CNS, the central nervous system. And so you have the lateral um, left and right ventricles where the cord plexus is at then it kind of looks like this. If you can imagine like an elephant trunk and the, the elephant ears and the trunk, you have both ventricles and then you have um, the third ventricle down here in the middle and then you have another fourth ventricle at the bottom. And what's happening is the cerebrospinal fluid is constantly circulating from the left and right ventricles to the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle and then it reaches the subarachnoid space and then it goes throughout the entire CNS it encompasses the whole brain and the whole spinal cord. And what it's supposed to be doing, it's supposed to maintain circulation. And so again, it provides cushion, thermal regulation. It contains glucose in it. So it should be between 40 and 60, uh, what we would consider low for serum blood, meaning blood, blood sugar levels, right? But this is the cerebrospinal fluid sugar and it's supposed to be between 40 and 60. Now the CSF is really important because it maintains ICP, intra, uh, intracranial pressure. Um, the normal pressure should be, it's measured by CMs and it's measured by millimeters of mercury. And so when we're talking about um, CMs, it should be I think between 60 and 25 CMs of water. And then when it comes to millimeters